Hey guys, Lucas here. Since this week's demo is based on beacons, I actually decided to place some beacons throughout my house and show them, uh, you know, controlling my home automation system just by walking from room to room and being detected by the uh, beacons. So what you're looking at here, this is the stream-based app that actually makes all this work. So before I jump into it, I'm actually going to show a couple other things real quick. So first off, I want to control that ceiling fan from my computer. So to do that, if you look down here next to my clock, you'll actually see a little house icon. That's an app that I wrote that actually allows me to control uh, my home automation system from my computer. So to turn that fan on, I'm actually going to click on this and say office fan on. When I do that, you can see that the fan turned on. So next, as you can see here, this is a collection of Raspberry Pis. I actually use Raspberry Pis to control everything in my home automation system. I actually have uh, 10 of them that I use uh, to control everything. Three of them I actually had to leave installed and running, so that way those are the three that actually uh, you know turn the lights on and off and uh, you know deal with the, the uh, alarm system and things like that. These seven here, these are the ones that actually handle everything else uh, like computer vision, the machine learning, um, you know things like that. So when somebody walks up my front porch, they ring the doorbell. Uh, I have a camera out there, and these are the Raspberry Pis that actually will uh, detect their face and look up uh, in the database to find out if I know who that is. And if I know them, it'll go ahead and unlock the door for them. Uh, otherwise, it will, uh, you know, just ignore them. Or it will also, if I'm watching TV, it'll actually go ahead and uh, pause whatever I'm watching and swap the TV over to actually show me the uh, camera view from the front door. At which point, I can, you know, decide whether or not to allow those uh, or allow that person in. So the next thing I have here is this is the uh, quick little Android app that I wrote that actually uh, works with the beacons. It's called SB Beacons, uh, you know, for stream based because this is what it's actually communicating with. So as I walk from room to room carrying this phone. Uh, the lights will actually turn off so whatever room i walk into that light will actually turn on and then the light behind me is going to turn off so we're actually going to start with this light here in the office so i'm going to go ahead and start the app so give it a second it'll actually identify that i'm in the office so there it goes and you can see the light came on so we're going to go ahead and walk around the house a little bit so i can get this in focus a little better so actually walking into the guest bathroom so we should be seeing losing focus here so there it goes so the light in the guest bathroom came on and as you can see the light behind me turned off so that's that one if I keep going get focus here start walking into the front doorway you can see it went to entry and those lights should have been turned on. I probably have a wrong device code or something in there. That's all right. I'll, I'll take care of it later. I do have it set up though, so we'll go ahead and stop that for a second. I have it set up so uh, if I actually open this door, you actually see the lights turn on, which there they go. And I'm not sure if you heard it or not, but at the same time, whenever you open the door, uh, the uh, house will actually tell you what door is open or what window or whatever. So again, I'm going to open the door. And if you heard it, it said uh, front door. So I'm actually gonna lock this back. Now on the other side, I actually have the automated locks uh, from Z-Wave, so that way I can actually uh, unlock the doors remotely if I want to. Uh, on the back side here, it's just a standard you know, deadbolt like you normally expect. So we're going to start the app back up. Get that out of the way. Now I'm gonna keep cruising. So I'm walking into the dining room. We should see that light turn on, there it goes. And again, it says dining room. So see that tree in the back? Actually, if I get close enough to it, turn the phone. You should hear it click on. There it goes. So the tree lit up. And again, it should say tree. So there it is. So we're going to keep walking, heading into the kitchen. I'm going to see that light come on. There it goes. Keep going. And you heard the tree behind me click off. And there it says kitchen. Now I want those lights to come on, so I'm going to walk in, and the lights come on. And when I did that, the kitchen light behind me turned off. So I'm going to keep walking again, and that lamp, if I get close to it, it should click on. So there it goes. So that's it. So before I stop, I'm going to go ahead and stop the app. I'm actually going to show you one other quick little thing. So there's my Google Glass that I use in my home automation system. And these are... Oops... This is a TV remote control that I have. I actually have several of these throughout the house. 
It's a touch screen, uh, and this will actually allow me to control everything in my home automation system as well. So I can do things like open and close the garage doors, turn the lights and ceiling fans on and off, you know, change the temperature of the thermostat, you know, things like that. So, you know, the normal things you'd expect from a home automation system. So for this one, I'm actually going to show, I'm going to turn that ceiling fan on using this. So I touch it, and the fan turns on. So that's it. Thanks for watching.